Hi, welcome back. So hopefully you have looked through your notes now and you have some ideas about what you need to take more notes of, um, some questions that you have that you might wanna look into. Um, our next step to find more notes is that we're actually going to reread our sources to try to take more notes. Your sources are the things that you used to take notes from the first time. Sources are the pieces of information, the documents that you use to get information from. So it might be a book, might be an article, might be something that you found online. It's where you get your information from. So we're going to reread those sources to see if we can pick anything out that we missed the first time to add onto our notes. So I'm going to reread my book, Polar Bears. I'm not going to reread every single word. Instead, I'm really going to use the chapter headings. Um, to help me decide if I might find more information that I need there. And I'm gonna skim through the paragraphs also, to see if any words jump out at me that will help me add on to my notes. And remember, I'm looking for more information about what my animal eats and what my animal's dens are like. Okay, so polar bears are big. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna help me or not. So I'm skimming through, I don't see any words that jump out at me that are going to help me find the information that I'm looking for. Polar bears are tiny. Mm, oh, there's the word den. Um, they will grow to 30 times their birth weight by the time they leave the den. A mother polar bear, bear is not able to eat while she nurses her babies from January to April. Doesn't really give me what I was looking for. Polar bears are twins. Um, I don't know if that's going to help me, but oh, okay. I'm seeing the word den again, so I'm going to reread carefully to see if I can get any information from this. Most polar bear mothers give birth to twins. Although polar bears usually do not hibernate, expectant mother polar bears do. Mating occurs in mid-spring and females dig a den into, the, into a snowdrift in the fall. Babies are born inside the den in early January. The den is cozy, staying 40 degrees warmer than the frigid Arctic air outside. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to find information that would work for me there, but I actually did learn a lot about dens. So I'm gonna find that subtopic page, where does my animal live? And I'm gonna add on, I'm in some trouble with the direction of my paper here. I'm gonna add on what I just learned about polar bear dens. So I learned that mothers dig dens into snowdrifts in the fall. Babies are born in the dens in January, and then the den is 40 degrees warmer than outside. So look at that, I added three notes on to that subtopic. That's a lot of information that I have now. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, now I really need to find out more about what polar bears eat. Polar bears struggle. I'm not sure, I'm gonna skim. I don't see any words jumping out at me. Polar bears live in the Arctic. I remember that this is really just about where in the world they live. That's not gonna help me with what they eat. Polar bears are not really white. It's interesting, but I don't see anything that tells me what they eat. Polar bears are patient. I really like the pictures on this page of the polar bear sticking its head into a hole. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay, polar bears are very, oh, okay, so the first sentence has a word that jumps out at me and tells me this might be a good page to read more of. Polar bears are very patient hunters. Their main diet is the ringed seal, which is the most numerous seal in the Arctic. Okay, that gives me more information already. They can smell a seal's breathing hole in the ice. That's why it's sticking its head in the holes. Um, then they wait silently until the seal surfaces at that particular hole. This can take a very long time since each seal has 10 or even 15 different holes to choose from. Sooner or later, the seal returns and the giant bear grabs him. Okay, just learned a lot that I can add on to what my animal eats. So I'm gonna take that page. Just add it where to go. There it is, okay. I'm gonna add on I have to think about what I learned. Polar bears find breathing holes of seals. They stick their head in hole and wait for the seal. When seal comes back, polar bear attacks. Okay. I got a lot more information there. All right. So your job now is to do what I did, reread your sources and find out what you can add on to your notes so that you've got a whole bunch of information in your notes for the next lesson.